use Google Calendar? Well, what if I told you that I could simplify your whole entire life with just six Google Calendar tips? Would you believe me? Well, stick around and I'll show you how. Today on Productivity Lab. What's going on everyone? My name is Mitchell and here at the Tech Learning Network, we teach tech. We help you learn to build digital products, create digital designs, and become more productive using technology. And in today's video, I'm here to give you my top six Google Calendar tips that will help you boost your productivity. So let's get into it. But before we get started, we're posting new tech content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss an episode. First up, we have the suggested time feature. Now, if you're someone like me who finds themselves arranging meetings with several people, all who have very busy schedules, then this tip is for you. It can get super frustrating trying to cross-reference a bunch of different calendars to find a time that works for everyone. But I'm going to teach you right now how to put an end to all of that mess. Let me show you how. First, you want to click on the Create button in the top left corner of your calendar. Then select Event. Then add all the relevant information and contacts to the event. Beneath your invited contacts, you should now see a button that says Suggested Times. Go ahead and give that a press. This will prompt a drop-down menu to appear, suggesting times where all meeting guests, including yourself, are available with no conflicts. Now, it took me years to discover this, but this is now something I use absolutely every day, and it's definitely a time saver. And speaking of time savers while scheduling meetings, we have tip number two, creating events right from Gmail. That's right, long gone are the days where you have to jot down all the information by hand and input it onto your calendar sometime later. Google Calendar now does all the heavy lifting for you. So let me show you how to do it. Here, you can see that I have an email thread with my coworker, Frankie, where he and I are trying to work out a time to have a production meeting. In my last message, you'll see that we've settled on a time to discuss. So. I'm going to select the ellipses in the top of my email chain, and I'm going to click Create an Event. Now, I've landed on a new tab where I can create and change all the details of my event. As you can see, the subject line of our email chain is the event title, and the chain itself is actually the description. Now, all I have to do is set my time and my location. And the coolest part is, Anyone in the two or CC lines automatically checks off yes to their meeting invitation. Tip number three, make sure that you're utilizing focus time. Sometimes you just wanna block off some time for you to actually get work done. You don't wanna be added to meetings, you don't wanna be bombarded with emails or notifications, and thanks to Google's focus time, now you don't have to. Focus time is something relatively new to Google Calendar, but it's an awesome upgrade. Let me show you how it works. If ever I wanna set a focus time, I just select create and then hit focus time. Now, all I do is add a title, create perimeters for my block, and make sure that no one tries to add me to any meetings by clicking automatically decline meetings. And the best part is, I can make my focus time a repeated event by hitting the event day and selecting the down arrows next to does not repeat. Now, I'm going to make sure that my focus time happens every single workday. And just like that, I've successfully told my coworkers that there are certain times in the day where I'm just simply unavailable. And I've significantly reduced any unnecessary distractions while I try to work. Tip number four is adding your calendar to your desktop. Now, one of my biggest problems with Google Calendar is that there's just no macOS specific application for it. 
Now, I'm sure a lot of you are probably rolling your eyes and thinking, well, why don't you just integrate your calendar into a third-party application? And the answer is, I just don't love the look or feel of other calendar applications. Google Calendar is bright, it's colorful, it's in my face. So I'm gonna show you a quick turnaround, a shortcut, if you will, to get around this weird odd and end. First, what you wanna do is open Chrome. Then you wanna open your Google Calendar. Now, you wanna select the ellipses in the top right corner of your browser and select the option More Tools. Then, you wanna hit Create a Shortcut. Make sure you give that shortcut a name and then hit Create. Now, I've got an app on my dock that launches my Google Calendar quickly and without hassle. Next up, we have tip number five, using keyboard shortcuts. If you wanna impress everyone in your office and make them think that you're some kind of tech guru, then you need to get to know your keyboard shortcuts. These shortcuts allow you to do everything from toggling between day, week, month, and year views. They allow you to create and edit events and even help you search for events. Now on a Mac, these are all fairly simple and can be discovered by just playing around with your basic keys. So for instance, W would switch you to week view, M brings you to your monthly view. But if you don't want to remember all of these keyboard shortcuts, I got great news for you. You really only have to remember this one, and that is command question mark. When you bring up command question mark, you actually just bring up a cheat sheet of all the keyboard shortcuts that tell you their functionality. And finally, we have tip number six, which is adding the Zoom plugin to your Google Calendar. Now, uh, let's face it. We live in weird times, and sometimes we've got to meet virtually. But thankfully, Google's made it super easy to organize this, thanks to their Zoom plugin. First, you want to hit the Settings icon in the top right corner of your calendar, and then select Get Add-ons. This will launch you into the Google Play Store. Here, you want to search for the Zoom plugin and install it. Now, you want to type in your account credentials, and just like that, you can make any meeting a Zoom meeting. All you need to do is click on the event, hit the down arrow next to Add Google Meet, and select Zoom instead. Simple as can be. And just like that, you're using Google Calendar like an absolute pro.